Hi, my name is Keith Johnson, and here I'm going to try to show you some close-up fingerings for both sides now, which is in Open G. I'm trying to videotape outside here to get some better light. I know a number of my videos are done late at night when the lighting is terrible and the picture comes out grainy, so, so here we are at the other extreme. <clears throat> both sides now is in Open G, and... Um, If you can see that now, I'm on the, uh, the second thinnest string, which would be the uh, B string, and skip a string, so I'm on the third fret and the fourth fret here. Slide that down too, and that's the starting. opening phrase sounds like this. So again, it's just that fingering right there, two strings third fret and the fourth fret on the second and fourth strings, the B and the D strings. Slide that down to the first fret and second fret, and then open. <clears throat> the picking pattern, you'll have to figure out for yourself or find the tablature. I'll see if I can find the tablature <clears throat> that I originally found a number of years ago. Next phrase is That's a little different. I'm at the third fret on the B string, right here, third fret on the second string in, and then the fourth fret on the A string, which of course is tuned down for the open G tuning, so instead of an A, it's a G, a G string, tune a G. Again, third fret there, fourth fret here on that string, you can see that. And the fourth fret of the E string, which is also retuned for the open G tuning. So there's your. The highest string, the E string, which is tuned down to D <coughs> for the open G. Fifth, seventh, ninth. You'll have to find the picking pattern in there that has those notes, assuming you're familiar with the song. That is the fifth fret on two strings, and it's the A and the G string. So, I know it gets to be hard to see there. So, up. And then I'm down to the second fret. So it goes from the fifth fret of the A and the G string down to the second fret, same strings. So let's review here one more time the first phrases. <clears throat> There's the chord formation at the third and fourth fret. Slide that down to the first and second fret. First and fourth, but now a different string here. That middle finger is fretting the what ordinarily would be the A string. 
add the fourth fret on the highest string. Fifth fret, up. Oh. Raise your middle finger. Down to the second fret. Repeat one more time, regular speed. that phrase again <clears throat> and then the change in the second part comes and again the picking pattern you're gonna have to just find those notes out or find the tablature but uh, assuming you're familiar with the song so I'll quickly run through this and then get into that B part where it's So basically the highest, the E note, which is the D, <laughs> tuned to a D, 5th, 10th, 9th, 10th, 9th, 7th, 5th, and then of course I'm throwing in some lower strings. And then with the lower strings playing too. There's the fourth fret on the <clears throat> highest E string and the A string, fourth fret. This is the trickiest part of the whole thing and that it took me the longest to learn. So after this again, you're at the fourth fret on two strings. Add that quick note. Cloudy illusions. Cloudy illusions. Fourth fret. From fourth fret on the first and the fifth string, or the highest D and the A string the fifth fret and that's, then there's a quick transition from here fourth fret on the highest string and fifth fret on the A string so from the fourth here there fretting two two strings again highest and out here Hit that fifth fret on the B string then. Add the ring finger here. 